The idea of NextGen come from you know, many years of working in the mining industry. We were sitting around the boardroom table uh, with Dave De Haas, who was our, uh, one of our key engineers on this project, and gave him the challenge to come up with a, a, a crushing plant that we could literally relocate anywhere uh, very quickly, build on a very small footprint, and have it plug and play. That was his challenge. He then worked closely with Metso Outatec and delivered the project for us very successfully. The collaboration between Metso Outatec and Mineral Resources has come about after many years of working together around the globe providing crushing solutions. Metso Outatec have you know, a world class product. I believe you know, Mineral Resources has a world class product in respect to providing the crushing service. We collaborate very well together and that's how this um, next gen was born. The need to produce such a crushing plant is more to provide our clients the flexibility to install these crushing plants remotely as their pits expand. So does, um, you know, haul, it's either they haul the material or they relocate the crushing plant. And generally these satellite pits only have a short life. So these are a perfect mechanism to install short term, very fast, and they can move as the pits expand. That's, that's the main driver for this. They're obviously being relocatable, um, they, they cover a very small footprint and certainly a reduction in emissions. The next Gen 2 is a crushing and screening plant to crush iron ore and produce lump and fine products. Uh, the process starts with a primary station made with a Metso Autotech apron feeder followed by a vibrating grizzly scalper. And then we have here a Norberg C150 Joe crusher. Then the flow goes to three secondary crushing station. Each station uh, is composed by a MF3072 banana screen and the HP400. From this station are produced fines, lump, and the other size is arranged in closed circuit to the screen. We have some customization degree for uh, different products, especially the, the screen. We modify slightly the design of the banana screen to accept a higher level of moisture and uh, fit inside the compact uh, secondary crushing station. But really, the tailor and design is around the, the modularity of the different stations. So each station is made of several modules. All those modules can be pre-assembled and tested in factory and then transported by road to the site. This is made uh, to really have a fast erection process. The next gen to plant is very flexible. Each station is individually plugged and uh, we can easily upgrade crusher, we can upgrade screen through the layer depending on the capacity. In addition, we can add or remove some station to match with the capacity requirements. So, for example, uh, the next gen 2 classic plant is a 15 million tons per year, but we can easily build with the same individual station a 30 million tons per year plant. In addition, uh, next gen 2 uh, is designed today for iron ore application with lump and fine product. But if we want, we can add a tertiary crushing stage uh, in order to do only fines for iron ore but it can match as well with, with the copper or the gold operation. The benefits the miners can receive is a significantly reduced installation time. The next-gen plants are obviously relocatable. We can adapt to any location very quickly, uh, knowing ground services, um, and you know, obviously it's speed to market for these adapting pits.
We ensure our crushers reliability through the close relationship we have with Mezzo Outertech. The spares, um, particularly critical spares, are supported by Mezzo locally. We have our facility in Quinana that manages all the large rotable refurbishments and secondly to that we have our remote um, condition monitoring that supports the equipment remotely as well. Crusher availability is essential uh, for us, for our customer and, and definitely for MRL. So it was agreed with MRL and, uh, to have a, a consignment, a specific consignment for those plants uh, with uh, a certain degree of exclusivity for MRL very close to the plant. Yes, there is <clears throat> for sure a global demand for modular uh, crushing plant. Uh, today, uh, having fast and safe erection is a must in many countries, many locations. In addition, we have more and more short-term operation in very remote location. So having <clears throat> a possibility to minimize the civil works is a key for a lot of our customers. Metso Autotech is undisputable leader in crushing and screening technology as well as plant. However, working with MRL, we learn a lot to improve the design of our station in order to maximize safety and improve accessibility in a very, very compact environment for high capacity plants. Working with METS on this project allow us to define the scope together rather than remotely and that allows us to ensure we deliver to the timelines and then make any changes on the run hand in hand and we deliver together. You would notice the next gen crushing plant has a distinctive blue colour to it and it has a Lifeline logo at the forefront of the crushing plant. It's really important to us to promote mental health. Our fly and fly out workforce has matured over some years, but the challenges around we're working remotely with their families, um, it's important that we demonstrate that we have the support mechanisms in place to support the families and, the, and our workers. In this regard, we're actively looking at new initiatives to extend on our Blue Tree project. Um, our focus, as I said earlier, is around mental health, providing those support mechanisms. The Next Gen Plant is in the forefront of that. It leads, um, you know, it's the first thing people see when they come to work. It's the last thing they see when they're going home. They can always reflect and make sure their workmates are okay.